With this oscilloscope, we can represent as waves the sounds being produced and see their different modes of vibration, as in the case of vibrating strings. Besides strings, we've already considered vibrating surfaces. The vibrations from such diaphragms are often quite complex. This diaphragm, for example, vibrates in a number of different segments. The third of the principal sources of sound is the vibrating column of air. The organ pipe, like the woodwind, produces sound by means of such an air column. Often the exposed pipes of an organ are merely decorative, and sounds are produced by the pipes in the organ loft. The wavelengths fitting the shorter pipes are shorter, and their frequencies are greater than the longer pipes. Consequently, the shorter pipes produce the sounds of higher pitch. The different kinds of pipes produce different qualities of sound. The organist uses stops and keys and pedals to admit compressed air into the pipes. Besides woodwind instruments and organ pipes, another mechanism that depends upon a vibrating column of air for its sound is the vocal mechanism of man. Here, sound waves result from vibrations of air that start in the vocal folds of the trachea. These waves are reflected back and forth in the cavities of the mouth, nose, and head, thus producing the complex sounds of speech and song. 